want to show you how to cut a custom width groove using the Stanley 45. Stanley 45 comes with a number of different straight cutters giving all the normal sizes that you might use in your work but there's always some occasion where you want something that's a bit custom. Check out my videos on ploughing grooves with the Stanley 45 for the setup of the plane because I'll just run through it quickly here. The blade's installed, it's the closest size which is smaller than the custom width that you want. We set it to protrude just below the sole to take a reasonably light cut. We set a fence so that, that the right hand side of that cutter first of all cuts the right hand side of the groove. And we set the depth stop to prevent us going too deep. I've set up the work on a spacer to keep it off the bench so I don't foul the, the fence. It's held firmly between bench dogs, one of them in the end vise. Now I can set the fence to position the blade on the right hand side of my custom groove. When I'm happy with that placement, I'll lock the fence off. Now I cut the right hand side of the groove. And that's down to depth. Now to achieve the custom size of groove that I want, I now reset the fence. And on this occasion I've got an adjustable fence. So I reset the fence to pull the blade to the left hand side of my required groove. and lock that setting. Now I have to be a little bit careful here because it's only the sliding section that's riding on the top of the work. The main stock is floating in the air. So trying to keep the plane upright, just riding on the sliding section, we can now cut the other side of the groove. And there you have a custom width groove ploughed with the Stanley 45. A piece of cake. Cheerio!